There is one here. Freeze! Don't move. Remain calm, citizen. Whoa, hey, stay cool, man. I'm just the plumber. Where is your girlfriend, citizen? Girlfriend? Hey, she's not me. When I was a little bit younger, I had my friends over to celebrate my birthday one year. I don't remember exactly how old I was, but I do remember the best gift that I received that year. My friend Ryan gave me a game that showed me that a relatively unknown IP could still really be something special. This is Freedom Fighter for the original Xbox. The place to be set. I want to see a lawyer, buddy. Now, if you've seen the movie Red Dawn, the premise of Freedom Fighters is going to be a little bit familiar. A plumber named Chris and his brother Troy are caught up in a Soviet invasion of the United States, and they both join a rebel group that starts referring to Chris as a Freedom Fighter. Now, while I could probably write something like that in my sleep, it actually goes a lot deeper than that. As Chris gains more followers, you can take over different areas of the city, and this really makes the player feel like he or she has an impact on the story. Controls in Freedom Fighters aren't bad at all, but they are very strange. The left trigger jumps, while the face buttons issue commands and the right trigger shoots. And because of this, aiming and reloading are done automatically, unless you use the zoom function. With all of the real estate on the original Xbox's controller, I find it a little hard to believe that the developers ran out of room and had to start improvising. That being said, I can't really complain. This control scheme actually works really well, and it lets the player focus more on the action than on tedious button presses. Back in the day before Xbox Live was really popular and local multiplayer was king, Freedom Fighters was one of the best. The playstyle in this is reminiscent to the third person mode in Modern Warfare 2, although it focuses a little bit more on strategy than that game. This is definitely something you're going to want to play with a friend. Visually, it's evident that Freedom Fighters was not made on a high budget, as animations are pretty stiff and characters look pretty blocky. However, this doesn't translate to the level design, which is, to be frank, outstanding. Audio is also really well done, using a very dark score that perfectly captures the feel of a Soviet-ruled America. Along with this, voice acting is surprisingly good. Even the minor characters sound believable. And that says a lot about developers and the casters. Freedom Fighters is almost eight years old, but it's still a game that I consider an absolute must-play. Although a sequel has been discussed for years, it will probably never come to fruition, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't play this fantastic piece. Who knows, maybe it'll prepare you in the event that America gets invaded by someone.